Hi, I'm Dr. McCann, and today we're gonna to talk about contraception or birth control. Now, birth control can be used for a lot of different reasons other than just preventing pregnancy. We use birth control to help control your periods, help the heaviness of periods, help pain with your periods. Um, they can be used to regulate your periods, and they can also be used to treat and prevent ovarian cysts in a lot of situations. But we're gonna go, go ahead and go over some different kinds of options so you can be thinking about what choice might be right for you. So starting out, of course, everybody's heard of the birth control pills. There are several different kinds of birth control pills. Um, there's most of the insurances will cover generic birth control pills, um, but you can see with the pills, um, you take one pill a day, the same time every day. I generally recommend taking the pills at night because sometimes they can make you nauseated and if they do, you can sleep through the nausea a lot of times. Um, a lot of the newer pills are very low dose estrogen, um, in which case, if it is a low dose birth control, you may have extra active pills. Um, for example, this pack, the first three and a half rows are your active pills. So these end pills will be when you should have your period. Um, and then the lowest dose birth control that's made, um, again, you can see, the first three and a half rows are when you are your active pills. Then you have your placebo pills down here. And again, some um, birth controls the whole last week will be your off week when you have your period. Other ones, if especially if they're low dose, um, will have extra active pills. So you do have to take every pill in the pack if that's the case. Another option that we have besides the pills, so the pills are great, but you do have to remember to take them every day. Um, another option is the birth control patch. So like the pills, the patch has estrogen and progesterone, so it does help regulate your period and it helps prevent pregnancy. So the patch comes in a box, as you can see, and in this box, there are three, there are three weeks worth of patches. So there'll be um, three patches, and all you do with these um, is you alcohol off the area, you're gonna put it on either your shoulder blade or your hip bone in the front or the back. This is what the patch actually looks like. And you'll just go ahead and place it and you'll change it every week for three weeks. After the third week, you won't have a patch on at all and that's when you'll have your period unless your physician decided that you needed to be on continuous birth control and not have a period. Um, which that does treat some symptoms like PMS, PMDD, um, and ovarian cyst. Um, so, so that's between you and your physician, but the patch is an option if you're not gonna remember to take a pill every day. The other option that has both estrogen and progesterone in it um, is the vaginal ring. So with the vaginal ring, this is what a ring actually looks like. And I'm gonna show you what the ring looks like. And that's what the ring looks like. So with the ring, what you do is you put it in the vagina. And here, this is just a sample. That's why it's blue. And you just insert it. There's nowhere it can go. It can't get lost. You're going to leave it in for three weeks. If your doctor wants you on continuous birth control, you can leave it in monthly. Um, but after the third week, you'll take it out. You'll put it in the foil pouch to discard it. Um, and then you'll have your period, unless again, your physician wants you to be on a continuous birth control. So this is super easy. Um, it's something you can leave in, you do by yourself. Um, and again, it helps regulate the periods and prevent pregnancy. Um, so the pill, the patch, um, and the vaginal ring are options for birth control and um, regulation of your period. Then there's some birth control with progesterone only. So you've heard of the Depo shot, you can get that every 12 weeks. Um, it is very effective at preventing pregnancy. Um, there can be effects on your bones causing reversible osteoporosis, so make sure you take calcium and vitamin D if your doctor puts you on the depo Provera shot. There is a Nexplanon. The Nexplanon um, goes in the arm. You can leave it in for three years. It is very effective at preventing pregnancy, and you can see the size of the Nexplanon right here. Um, it's about that big, and it just goes in your arm, um, again, it's very effective at preventing pregnancy. You can leave it in for up to three years. It can cause abnormal bleeding. So the Nexplanon is not used to treat abnormal bleeding. 
Um, the Nexplodon is purely for pregnancy prevention, so that's very important, um, but it's convenient because again, you just put it in, you leave it in. It doesn't have to stay in three years. Your doctor can remove it if you don't like the side effects or if you're having daily bleeding um, and you want it removed, your doctor can remove it before the three year mark. Um, the other options are the IUDs. So the IUDs go in the uterus. Um, there is a three and a five year IUD. Um, they're inserted and they end up here at the top of the uterus. The three and the five year IUD have a progesterone lining. Most people quit having periods by six months after those are placed. Um, and then there is the copper IUD, um, the only non-hormonal IUD. Um, this is the, it's the Paragard is the only copper IUD. You can leave this in for up to 10 years. So if you don't like hormones, but I don't wanna get pregnant, this is an excellent option. Um, however, your periods with this one will probably be a little bit heavier and a little bit more painful. Um, but it is a great long-term option, especially if you don't like hormones. Um, most recently, within the last year, they have also released a vaginal gel um, that is a non-hormonal birth control. You insert it before intercourse, um, and it is effective at preventing pregnancy, so that's other, another non-hormonal option. So whatever birth control you choose, um, you may be not eligible for some of these I've talked about, um, which is why you should ask your doctor. This is just giving you um, an example of the options available here in the United States, and you and your doctor can decide which choice is best for you.